Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add digital clouds to your drone shots in Adobe After Effects. <laughs> So this effect is more simple than it appears and all that we need to do this effect is a drone shot and some clouds. And to get these clouds we can either take a picture ourselves, or we can go onto Google Images, search for white fluffy clouds and just take one of those top images making sure that it's high quality. Now once we've got these we just need to get them onto After Effects and begin editing this effect. So once we've loaded up Adobe After Effects we just want to create a new composition from the drone clip. And once that's in there, you just want to go through and you just want to find the section of the drone clip that you're going to do this effect on. So that's just this section here. And then from here, I'm just going to go up to effects and I'm just going to search for the metric color because I want to add some color into this shot. So we'll just use the Alexa default LUT. That would do for now. And then we'll just watch this back. And there's a slight nudge at the end of my clip. So I'm just going to trim that there. And now from here, I'm just going to drag the cloud shot on top of the video layer of the drone. And I'm just going to scale this up by using the scale. And then I'm going to go back into the effects tab and just search for key. And when I see key light, I'm going to drag that on top of the photo. Go to screen color and use the tool to select the blue. And then I'm just going to go down and I'm going to scale this back up again. So this is filling up the frame. Now I'm just going to watch this back very quickly. And there you go. Now at the end of this clip, I'm going to scale this all the way up. And then I'm going to scroll all the way back to the very beginning and I'm going to increase the scale to around 600. Now as the drone travels up into the sky, you'll notice that the clouds are moving in perfect time with the drone's movement. So that's exactly what we need to make this look realistic. However, there's one thing that we need to do to progress this to the next level and that is we need to add some blur to this. So we'll go to effects, search for blur and we'll add camera lens blur and then we'll just increase the blur radius to around 20 and we'll just watch this back very quickly. And there you go, digital clouds added to a drone shot. It's that easy. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.